I started love speaker, right? Because I want to call us really Kika, I love school art and I love going to auditions, being on screen. I really enjoyed it. So I said, Mom, okay, I'll support you. I was going to do it in the fashion shows, commercials, and until when I turned 12, I was like, I don't know, I'm going to go to the next one. And she goes, I'm going to go to the next one. I said, No, I can do this. I said, I don't know. Then even then, I turned to the next one, and I think I am with Star Magic for. Let's say maybe like 15 years. Yeah, so I've been working my own life, which I never thought that I was working about then. Because it's been so, what do I know? So I thought I was just having fun. It was really fun. And I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So thank you so much for sharing that. Well, as early as three years old, you're already working and having fun. So can I invite, before I head on to the second question, I'd like to invite our two co JC and Mika to join us here on stage for the Q&A. More people, more fun. Yes. Okay, so and now we've touched on Sophia Andres being an actress and a model as early as she was three years old. Now on to be a role model. You played many roles in your life and you're also a role model especially to many young people. So what makes a person a good role model? And do you see yourself as a good role model? I see myself as a role model. I think I do. Um, if you guys really follow me on social media, I really show off my family and my friends. I would die for them. I would, well, can I say kill for them? I would because, you know, um, love really fuels me up. And I'm not going to be a kid. I'm not going to be a kid. I'm not going to be a kid. You're 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 not going to be a kid. Um, the love of my family, the love of my family, and I think that they reflect it so far. And I think they know that they really fight for what I have, for what I believe in. So I think that's what I'm So just not being anyone else but yourself, being your authentic self. Yes. Uh, what you see right now is also what you see on social media, or whatever. So you're not good role model, right? and that. So what makes a person a good role model. Now, you once said this in an interview, while my journey may not resemble a fairy tale, it is filled with love, growth, and a deep sense of purpose. So what are we having today? But could you tell us more about how you grow on your journey and how would you define your purpose, Nadia? My purpose in life is actually my family. I wake up in the morning and know where that person that's what I feel like I could not ask for more. Can you have a napkin, please? This is a note. The next question is a question. I'm going to be real quick. 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 I'm going to um, we cannot have everything. Now I feel like waking up in the morning feeling that I'm so completely okay. Like, oh, you're also a mom. So even though um, you need to do it, to do it and projects and everything, but still I'm given much blessings because I appreciate the blessings that's you know, going my right way. And I think. That's the best feeling on earth, being a mom. That's the best feeling for me. And although it's slowing now, my career, for me it's the best because I have time for my daughter, I have time with my family, and at the end of the day, family is all in love. That is such a good mindset, but you know, if you don't mind, I know you're being super humble. I don't think, I don't think your career is going down. In fact, I think your career is branching out to new directions. Actually, I don't know how to relate it, because when you become a mother, they say that, oh, something ends. But no, it's, I mean, it's new opportunities for you, different. I think just too harsh. So, I, don't, I always want to play. I work a lot of business. I feel, but 
have to do more. I want to explore more. I'm just really happy. Well, I'm with Boto. Seriously. I think that I possibly should. This is also the main reason why, why we love Sophia so much and why we chose her to be the first celebrity endorser of Home Glow. Her realness. No, how raw and unfiltered she is, and how you know you, it's rare to find people who still wear their hearts on their sleeves. Because now, especially with cancel culture, people always having an opinion about your life. You know, not everyone will agree with everything all the time, so it takes a special kind of person to stay true to themselves, not only if they're too public. No. Super right, and that mindset that you have, no, you don't compare yourself to other people. Yeah, that's, that's something that we should all emulate. Next question, about, about, I know, eh? but I'm not emotional. To my, to my own, I'm not emotional. 